So I've been doing some searching on YouTube, got really interested in these rack setups, and I decided to make one myself. I saw that a lot of people were showing off their rack setup, their net home networking system, and everything that goes in it, so I decided to do one myself. I built one instead of buying one off Craigslist or buying a new one. Obviously, I'm not going to pay to buy a new one. Uh, those are ridiculously expensive, 1000 or so. Craigslist, I saw them for like $200 or so, and I really didn't need the rack space that it was providing. I didn't find any half racks, so I was out of luck. I decided to build my own, and here it is. It's not the best. It works, though. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment below. It was fairly easy to build. I got the the Raxus rack mounts. They're 16U on each side. I got them for about 25 bucks off Amazon. And then I got the bolts from Raxus as well. They were probably 12 bucks, and then about 25, 30 bucks on wood. wasn't that bad. At the very bottom, I have a 4U case. It's a Roswell L4000. It's a really deep case, didn't really need it that deep, but I needed a 4U case for my home storage de department. I have about 10 terabytes of hard drive space in there, and it serves all my movies and my music and anything I have all throughout my house. Anywhere I need it, it serves it to it. Above that is my PFSense router that I built, and it's a little overkill, but I used a TU Norco 230 rack mountable case. I didn't really need to use this, but uh, I wanted to play around with PFSense and it works awesome. I got a few plugins on, on it and been playing around with it for the past few days. It's going well. Above that, I have a TP Link 16 port gigabit switch. Everything on my network that's wired up plugs into this. It actually plugs into my modular patch panel above that, and then it plugs into my switch. As you can see, I've got blue cables and a purple cable. You're probably wondering what's going on with that. I'm a K-State fan, and purple and white are the colors for K-State Wildcats. I had blue ones laying around, bought a purple one, and bam, here we are. I went ahead and ordered uh, four or five different purple ones, and I'm going to use them in place of the blue ones, and then got a white one for my uh, the, the purple one is right now is actually my link between my router and my switch. So that's the power one from coming from the my WAN. So I'm going to use that one as a white one once those come in. All this stuff is linked up to my stuff around the house, my TVs. I have a home theater computer that I built with an i5. Actually, it's a 550 i30 or i30, i3 computer. And it has XBMC on it in my living room. And then in my bedroom, I have a Raspberry Pi with XBMC on that as well. Uh, RaspBMC, I believe. It's kind of slow. Don't really like it, but I'll get over it. Uh, in the spare bedroom, I have it's a Western Digital HD live TV. Uh, it's, it's all right. It, it's not as neat as XBMC. Let's put it that way. Not, not as a wow factor, let's put it that way. Either way, if you like it, leave a comment, hit like, subscribe. I will definitely uh, update on anything that I add to my system and anything else like that. I'll have future unboxings to go with it.